Okay, here's a tutorial on how to add a simple muzzle flash to your films. Alright, first thing you want to do obviously is just ha have your raw footage. Just have it there open in Vegas Pro. And then what you want to go to uh, you want to get your effect, get your muzzle flash. I'm using Muzzle Flash 13 from Video Copilot Action Essentials 2. So I'm going to click and drag that into Vegas Pro and put it above um, my footage. Okay, I'm just going to quickly get rid of that so I can see my original footage. I'm just going to scroll along until I f okay, that's where the gun goes off. All right, so uh, between those two frames. So that's the first frame where the gun goes off. So I'm just going to click and drag that to there because that's where I want I want it to begin. I want the flash to begin. Now there are two ways of um of adding this, of adding this flash uh, to your background, but I prefer just going to um compositing mode and clicking on add. That's that's the sim the simplest basic way. Uh there are another there's another way you can do with chroma key but um to keep, I'm trying to keep it simple so I'm just going to go to that and click add and that'll do it automatically. All right, so obviously the next thing I want to do is to reposition this cuz it's not in the right place. So I'm going to click on event pan crop and then I'm just going to click and drag this to where it needs to go. Okay, so resize this by just clicking and dragging and fiddling around to try and get the right size. So just about there looks right. And then I'm going to click and drag this button here to see where the gun goes in the next frame. Alright, so you can see it moves. And we want the muzzle flash to move with it. So I'm going to rotate this and click and drag, click and drag it so that it repositions itself with the gun. And this can take a while if you're doing like a machine gun or something, because you'll, you'll need to do it frame by frame to get a good look. And I'm just going to scroll along for the next few frames. And yeah, that looks okay. Obviously the smoke stays, stays in the same position. So if we just play that, this is what you'll have so far. Okay, just that. So play that slowly. So yeah, it looks pretty real, but obviously there's no sound, so it's not going to look very realistic. So what you want to do is go to your sound effects area. For this I've got a 50 cal shoot. I, I'm not very good with guns but I don't think a 50 cal is a pistol but whatever. Okay so that's my pistol sound. So I'm just going to click and drag that into Sony Vegas and I want this to go underneath my current audio. So I'm just going to click and drag that down so this will automatically create a new audio layer. Alright, so I'm just going to line the frame selector up with my first frame of the muzzle flash. Because obviously the sound is going to be at the same time as the muzzle flash. So once I've lined that up there, I can just click there and that'll, that'll do it for me. I'm going to scroll down to where my muzzle sound is and I'm going to click and drag that. And if you've got snapping enabled, that'll automatically line up like that. Um, if this doesn't happen, you'll need to go into options and click this, enable snapping. So you need to make sure that that's, that's got a box around it, okay? And then if you click, this is what you should have. And now that, that, that was pretty loud, so I'm just going to click here and drag that gain down. You can also do it here, but that'll do it for the whole track. So if you want to lower just this and then leave the rest of any shots you have or whatever at the same, you can just click and drag this line here. So I'm just going to drag that down and then see how that sounds. As you can see, yeah, there's no distortion because it's not at zero or above. So, and that is how you add a flash to your videos. Thanks for watching.